Hello, hello, hello everyone, hello! Welcome back, welcome back to your friendly neighbor noob. Of course, I am friendly and we're back with V Rising. V Rising has finally come out fully, like 1.0. And of course, as you guys know, I did an entire series before it came out with Gloomrot, which I always think it's weird when you put an expansion out before the game fully comes out. But you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, that, that's how we do the games these days. Uh, so I'm excited to jump in and go. Uh, we are going to start from the same spot we were before. I only want to do the new bosses. I personally, you know, I know a lot has changed, but we'll talk about it more when we get into the game. So without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends as it's much appreciated and it really makes me want to make more of these videos and just have fun with you guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> let's, let's just go. Let's, let's go be a vampire. We're back, guys. We're back in V Rising. It has been a very long time. I, I'm so happy that they finally released uh, 1.0. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Da -da 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 -da. Da Ooh, that was a lag. That was that was a lag. I meant to say lag spike, but I just it, I, all the words did not compute in my head. Um, anyway, so yes, we are back in V Rising, and I thought we'd start off uh, this series because we're only doing a few videos because there's only there's not much content different from the huge amount we played last time because we played a lot. We played we 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 played like 16 episodes. I mean, come on. So there are a small amount of things I can show you that are new and then the new content itself, which came with this. Like, we, we're going to defeat Dracula at the end of this. This is crazy. First up, as you can see, we had Act 1, uh, which we already know about. And um, I believe, yeah, Finn the Fisherman. I don't remember him last time. He may have existed, but I don't remember him. So I am going to track him down and kill him. Because I want to see what he does, etc. We're going to, like, lean back a little bit and see what happens. So we are going to do him in this episode. Uh, we are also going to have a look at uh, General Elena the Hollow. Because, um, Altar of the Stygian Awakening. Because I, I, I don't know her either. I, the Stygian stuff didn't really look too far into. Pretty sure this one as well. Yeah, another Stygian one, which is General Cassius the Betrayer. Uh, uh, who else? Who else? I think the other people are up, like, we've already, we've already seen most of these. Cyril the Cursed Smith. Oh, I remember him. Yeah, he was crazy. <laughs> he was crazy. Uh, I recognize all of these. I don't recognize him, so challenging, it says. Simon Belmont. Wait, I know Belmont. Why do I know Belmont? Huh. So yeah, this one's gonna be challenging. Matched. <laughs> matched, matched. All these formidable. That's kind of cute. So challenging. Interesting. Oh, well, that's because we don't know what his level is. The Vampire Hunter. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we've got a whole bunch of new ones. Uh, we've already done Sticks before, I believe. We have done uh, Lord Sticks of the Night Champion. Uh, Gore Crusher? I don't remember. So we'll do them again. General Valencia the Depraved. I don't remember. Solace the Immaculate. We have done uh, the Winged Horror. Tilzar, I don't remember doing. Adam the Firstborn. I don't think we ever did Adam the Firstborn. I have to admit, I don't think I ever found Adam the Firstborn. And then, of course, Dracula the Immortal King. You know, Dracula's chest plate, or you can make it. Now, when it comes to what's changed, uh, I mean, this spin wheel is huge now. <laughs> um, the spellbook looks a lot different. Uh, I kind of do like the new touches, and we can't have everything unlocked straight away you can actually choose which one you want to unlock um oh yes 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 and you have different kind of passives as well that will increase as you unlock things that's really cool and yeah then the, you come down to here uh where is it you you come oh they have to actually go to the spell let's go to the spell uh there we go and then you can see the jewel that's attached hitting the affected by weakened grants you shield absorbing 33 percent reduces damage penalty so you can check these and I'm pretty sure you just drag, drop kind of thing, which I think is really helpful. We do have to find a whole bunch of these. The map isn't too much different, uh, too different, but we do have an entirely new area, which is the Ruins of Mortium. Exciting. Very, very, very exciting. 
And yes, there, there, are, there aren't like huge amounts of differences in certain areas and then in others there are. <laughs> I will say one thing I did notice um, before I start to play because I wanted to set up at least a base. Uh, the base stuff looks is so much cleaner, which is really nice. It feels really good. Um, I have set the same settings that I had last time or tried to get as accurate as uh, I was to before. Of course, I don't have my horse. I don't have the same armor that I spent hours and hours acquiring. I just have the sanguine, sanguine stuff and the uh the this gear as well which uh, is the shadow moon stuff i will say though um looking at all, like the new inventory stuff it looks really cool i like this new inventory look uh rather than all those little bits and pieces that have removed all the separate inventories and you've now got bags which is kind of cool i don't i had bags before you just had bags for like separate things as like one big bag personally that's just me that's just me so i know we had bags before but this one's better she also all these the attributes so it's all separated now it's really really good also a take all and a quick send and uh, a sort drop your inventory like damn thank god all these nice little things uh but as i was saying i did play this beforehand just to get like a head start and get a good feel for the actual new version of the game and one of the things I know, Scorswine the Ravenger, which is one of the earlier, uh, is in Act 1. Uh, when I was playing her, she usually likes to spit a whole bunch of, uh, I guess they bullshit, a whole bunch of poisonous clouds everywhere. There was like 20 clouds and you have to dodge them. Uh, when I battled her this, this time, she had one. One cloud. I had to dodge one cloud. I was almost like, w w what's the point? She's so weak. <gasps> Ooh. Wait, this is new? Oh, this is a new area. So it is new. This The fisherman is a new character, uh, like a new boss. Oh, this is so cute. A little... I'm glad they kind of did a bit more of a focus on fishing. I, especially because, like, you know, fish oils and stuff. So we'll see. Um, I just remember that, that a lot of things dropped fish, so I didn't really ever need to fish. But maybe that's different now. The drop rates of stuff has changed and where they drop from, so... Aww! Love this. Like the look of it is very boss-like, but let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna try to kill him slowly so we can get a feel for what he actually does. I don't want to kill him too fast. Hello. With the wrong oh my god! He just pointed like, yeah. slapped with a salmon. He slaps you with a salmon. Oh yes. Oh, this is this is the kind of boss that we needed. Someone who's being slapped by a salmon. I'm pretty sure it's an eel or like a, a pike, but still. Psych, it's a pike. Whoa. Whoa, that's pretty cool. So he throws a net, he slaps you with a salmon, and has like a spin with his um with his fishing rod. As I said, I don't want to kill him too quick. Oh. One with the water. Let me show you a fishing trick! Oh, he spits out puffer fishy thing. Puffer fish. Ow, oh, they stun. Oh, and they send out frost stuff. Oh, that's kind of cool. Whoa, what the hell's that? A young sea serpent. That's actually really cool. I apologize for the lag. I don't know why it's lagging, but it's just like eat these up, might as well. But uh, we're pushing through, pushing through. Oh, piranhas! That's awesome! Oh, this would be so fun to play with others. Like this specific boss battle. Whoa! I want to see one more, one more thing and see if he... Oh, he has a kick as well. Damn, okay. I want to see if he has any other sea creatures that pop up. Any other sea creatures? Oh, here we go. I just... I love that he runs over there like he's like a cartoon character almost. It's so... It's so fun. Ah! Okay. Bury me at sea. I refuse to bury you at sea. You do not deserve to be buried at sea. But yeah, there's one of the new bosses. Uh, we're going to head over to the next one, which... Um, give me a moment. One of the new bosses. Let's go down. <laughs> we have to scroll down to the one of the new ones. There wasn't any in this other than the fisherman. In this one, I believe there's... Yep, her. 
All right, so we have to track her this time. Ele General Elena the Hollow. Hmm. Which direction is she coming from? Oh, Hollowed Mountains. I imagine she's coming from there. I'm going to hope that the lag doesn't continue to happen, but there's nothing much we can do about it, to be honest. Hollowed Mountain. Is that the one that's uh, got Terragor and stuff? Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the game server side things. I have kind of looked into it and some people are having issues, some people are not. And I've done all that I can to kind of reduce the amount of um, la pressure that's been put on my computer. So we'll see if that helps. Oh, the hollowed mountains. Oh, you're an arctic, but actually you've got more, uh, you've got a better creature thing. What will that give me? That give me sun resistance rating? No? Doesn't that give me sun resistance rating? No, it doesn't. Well, that's sad. Well, that's sad. What's that? Where is the blood heading? You, you guys are unimportant to me. I'm sorry, but you have very little meaning to my my progress. I do apologize. She's got to be around here somewhere, right? We are tracking her. Oh, that way. Okay. I was like, there's no tracking things. What happened? Also, why is she in the snow? That's strange. <laughs> That's strange. I've always wished there was more of a story with this game. Like, it's very basic of a story. And uh, I'm taking back my land, blah, blah, blah. But I just, I kind of wish there was a stronger story. Just in my opinion, just in my opinion. But also, look at, look at my clothes. They perfectly suit this area. I can, I can color them. I can, uh, I can't, I can't transmog things, but I can color things, which is nice. Is it over there? Waiting for the blood to show. Oh, no, it's this way. Okay. Whee! I should probably go into wolf mode, to be honest. Speaking of wolf mode. Hi, wolf. Hi. Okay, wolf. When I went on a horse, my, my game had, like, a conniption. It was like, what the f is going on here? So, yeah, I've learned not to mount a horse. And plus, I've, you know, this isn't my saved game. And I knew it was coming. I knew that we wouldn't get the... Oh, Frostmore. I've already, I've already done Frostmore. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Owie. You cannot escape me! Oh, he's trying to escape me. I'm really not bothering dodging things, am I? <laughs> I'm just like doing the worst. Mainly because I don't really need to do that much. Let's just grab these health orbs, shall we? Pretty sure the sun's gonna hurt me in this situation, but it's fine. One, two, three. Suck out his blood! Do you? I mean, we've already got his stuff before, so you shouldn't feel strong, right? <laughs> That's fine. All right, uh, we'll add that one on. I like that this, the gems, you can just right click and they go straight in. Ah, it's so nice. Take this stone with me. It might seem weird, but I need it for my castle. Wait, how is it over there now? Oh, is it over here, here? Oh, it's in a new area. That's a little weird just because like, if Dracula's in there and half of the, I guess half of the bad guys are in the same level cap and yeah, uh, I'm trying to make it, trying to make it make sense in my head. If you have an area and the first two bosses are like around the fifties and the next one's in like the sixties and one's in the seventies and the final boss is in the nineties, I guess, or like eighties, nineties, I don't know, but it's, it kind of makes sense, I suppose. I would just, call, if you're going to call someone the general hollowed one or whatever, I would put her in the hollowed, like the, the hollow mountains, like her with a bunch of people, you know, s scouting out the area of some kind. And this is the new area, which is uh, kind of exciting. It looks so dead. Venture into the ruins of Motor... Blah, 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 blah. And it's lagging like hell. I don't know why it's lagging like hell. I expected the new area to be higher level. 
I got, I've got to admit, I expected it to be the level 90 zone. Like 80 to 90, but it's like 50 to 60. Oh my god, there are demons. Why are there demons? What in the world? Who are they? What do they want? Have they come for my blood? Oh, hello. I'm not in love with you, I'm sorry. What the hell is with the lag? Every, every, every single time I hit something. Jeez. As much as I want to explore each area, I should probably head over to the general. I'm only saying that because they're a lower level boss, so they're not gonna exactly give me heaps of, <laughs> heaps of stuff. So I could be like super awesome or anything. Wham, 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 wham. Secret tunnel through your body. I'm gonna make one with a vampire. Oh, whoa. Giant crow came down. This place is insane. I feel like I'm in hell. Why do I feel like I'm in hell? Elena the Hollow. Close. Oh. There's nothing really nearby. Oh, wait. What kind of uh, currency do I need for this guy? Vampire merchant. Ooh, good. He won't have need me to turn to a human. Is this Stygian shards? Yeah, I just started go getting these. Ancestral stuff. Right. Well, Stygian shards are new to me. Shards. Just be careful not to hit him. <laughs> I could kill him. I do not know what effect it'll have on the game, though. I'm very, definitely very curious to see what happens if I murder him. Main, mainly because I don't really need anything he has, I don't think, but I could be wrong. Ooh, free stuff. I love the, like, scooping up free stuff. My, f my norms. What, what the hell? Why are they white? Does that something to do my weapon? It might. But mine's not. Who knows? Oh, it's a bear! There's a bear in there. Okay. I see. So this is up here. Awesome. Now that I know it's there. Right. Wait, I can turn to a spider? Do I want to turn to a spider? I hate spiders. I'm, re I'm, I'm arachnophobic. But I'm not like majorly arachnophobic. But like a lot of people are like scared, terrified. I find them gross, disgusting, a little terrifying. And I just want to squash them. Squashy, squash, squash, squash. I get like really like squash happy. All right. Oh. Whoa. What the hell are those? Oh. Ooh. What's that? What's that? What's that? Is that like a, a book? Is that what they look like now? Yeah. Assortment of storage lockers. That's interesting. I will take it all. I'm still running into the issue. Oh, so still this way. Remember how it said it was close before when I was like here? Uh, it's not, it's, I wouldn't call this close. <laughs> oh, maybe I was thinking of the other one. I'm, I'm thinking of the fisherman, I think. Am I gonna be hurt in the sun areas? I don't, I imagine no, because, well, they're vampires. That wouldn't make sense, but I'm not entirely sure now. Also, this is awesome. This, 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 this thing is awesome. Oh, really? You guys saw me? Damn it. Oh, oopsies. Oh, well. Wham! Bam, 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 bam! Oh, there you are. I'm so sorry you got killed. Ooh, grave dust. Ooh, more grave dust. Now where's the where's the um where's the baddie? I've never been with a baddie. Do I have to like wait until the next blood phase comes out? Waits patiently. She's very close supposedly. Oh, she's over here somehow. Huh. How is she over here? Oh, there she is. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's it, it's fine. 
Oh wow, that's kind of cool. It's like that kill the pillar in order to get her down. <laughs> that's cute. That's really cute. So she's gonna make a pillar and you have to get the p <laughs> That's so funny. That's something new. That's something new. That's at least something new. Oh no, I'm... I'm frozen! Yeah. So she had a lot of frost abilities, it seems. Like the pillar that puts her upwards and the one that freezes you. But not, not a lot of variety. Just gonna be honest, not not a lot of variety. Oh wow. She just she just burnt up. That was different. Almost frightening. I mean the next one uh is this guy, right? Yeah, okay. So he's the next one to attract and oh he's far away? Oh damn, okay, he's far away. I I don't know how far, but we're gonna go find him. I will say the lag I remember the lag being a bit crazy when I first played V Rising. I forgot, to be honest. I forgot when I was recording how annoying it was because there were so many just jumps and lag spikes. And um, when I play the game and don't record, it's it's sometimes it's okay. I will say it's still it's still bad because I when I jump on horses, it's suddenly just turns into a huge lag fest. Um, so yeah, I've really got to watch out and try to figure it out. But when I'm recording, it's even worse. So. My friend uh, who has a, a tanky computer also says they don't have the best time um, so they have to turn down settings and stuff. And I'm just like, well, then the computer looks worse. <laughs> it looks terrible. I don't want to have to do that. It's a withered vampire. Oh, let's quickly go have a look at my home. Welcome to my home, my humble abode. This is the main area. As you can see, I've done a little bit of decorating with the wallpaper and such. This is my forges at the moment. I haven't really done that much. Just tried to get stuff in. Uh, there's a teleporter outside. And as you can see, there's all that uh, plant stuff that's coming together. We have the tailoring room with all my tailoring supplies. I have the library, but I still need two items there. still need both of the uh, research stuff. I don't know if I have the materials yet. Uh, we've got the workshop here. Uh, it's going to go upstairs because there is actually something upstairs. <laughs> go upstairs. Second floor. Still need to finish off this but that's going to be I think the prison room. Uh, I'm not sure what that's going to be. I might make it my bedroom. We've got the jeweler over here and the alchemist -y stuff over here. The laboratory. Now the thing I was looking into was where was it? Research. Production. Research. So, reinforced planks. We need heaps of stuff for that one, unfortunately. Dark steel ingots and such. But yeah, reinforced planks, which I'm pretty sure I have some of those. Actually, let's check to make sure that we don't have anything we have to put in here. No. We don't have any item. Good, good. Wonderful, wonderful. Bruha. <laughs> Bruha. Okay, reinforced. Do we not have any reinforced? No, we don't. Okay, we got to look for it. How do we make reinforced? Uh, it's, yeah, that one. And, awesome. We only need four, I believe. Just gonna make sure I don't have any in the storage over here because um, I do have a random storage cupboard. Ah, oh, we do. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Had I had known. Oh, well, we're gonna have like one piece. Oh, no, we are. There we go. Get the study. The last one is the Ethereum or something. Ethereum. I can't put it there. God damn it. How am I supposed to fit everything in here? It's like literally to the edge, so I can't really do much about space, unfortunately. Block by the paper press. Is there a way to move the paper press? I can still get around that, can't I? I can. <laughs> Everything's very tightly packed. Very tightly packed in here. Hopefully we won't have to move that one. Uh, and yes, I have all this stuff because technically... I start at level 80, so everything you can get is already there, which sucks a little bit because, you know, the progression is the same, but I don't really want to play through another 80 levels worth of stuff, like 16 episodes, <laughs> many, many hours, like 50 to 60 hours. I don't know. I don't know how long it took me originally. I had to look back on the, the recording stuff, but there has been a lot of things added to 
I don't remember a lot of these things. I remember the Duskwalker. I don't remember the Crispin Templar. That's for sure. I don't remember that at all. So either I'm just misremembering a whole bunch of stuff or then then you <laughs> then you that's also a possibility. With me, that is a major possibility. It, it really is. <laughs> I just forgot. <laughs> but yeah, we killed two bosses. Uh, we've done General uh, Elena the Hollow, which would have given Frost Spell Points, Tier 2, uh, Alter the Stygian Awakening, which is, and these are regular ruby, wine ingots, and a great blood essence. Used to unlock your, infuse your vampire with passive powers. Eww. That's interesting. Uh, stately carpets. Very nice. And also the fisherman, which I believe the fisherman only, yeah, gave us frost points of most frost. Oh, that was ironic. Um, but that's a coincidence. Sorry, that's a coincidence. Use it to catch fish and eye of bubbling water. Nice. So we got two down and next time we're going to get another two done. Uh, I'm going to go, uh, now and try to figure out to, how to fix this lagging issue. Hopefully we'll get it done. If not, then, I don't know. I'll do my best, guys. I really will do my best. But uh, we'll be going for General Cassius the Betrayer. And then heading up to some of the ones we've already done, which is Lord Sticks of the Night Champion. Um, and I believe that's... I think that's it of those ones. Because, yeah, we have a whole bunch of new things too. Primal Gems, Shadow Weave, Blood Points, Coat of Arms. But Primal Gems looks interesting with four abilities. It's, it's, it's wonderful. I'm wondering if, like, oh, wow, Mosquito... Units use Parasitic Spawn, a random blood type. I don't remember a lot of these. Ghost Yarn. Uh, what is it? Schematics. Luminescent Mushroom Terrarium and uh, the Atrium. Yep. Blood Stuff. Yeah. Oh, Barrel Disguise. That's really cute. It's nice you get more items, by the way. You get a lot more rewards. When, um, some of them, at least. They give you more rewards and it feels really nice. Because <laughs> I was I was so... Uh, I, was, I was feeling like some of them weren't worth actually killing. In all honesty, like, I, I, the frogs and the, the bears and the bats, I was just like, eh, okay. Oh, you get a leather bag from this one. Oh, a banshee. Chance for Scorch Stone to get spectral dust. The spiderling units wield. This is where the uh, rat thing, I think, the, um, the nests, you can actually spawn them so you can kill them. Angram the Purifier. Dawn Regalia, mutated rat, explosives, mutated gruel. <laughs> Uh, oh, so she's the one you get the whip from. Dominia the Blade Dancer. It's funny that you get her whipped from her and not, um, you know, <laughs> it's just a little interesting. Uh, wait, is that, did we actually get the normal grinders or did we get advanced grinders? I think we just got grinders. How much, how do you get better grinders? Refinement. Uh, grinder. Oh. Reinforced placements. Text scrap. God damn. Should have done that. Oh well. Can't get a bit of one of these sawmills. But that's fine, that's fine. We'll work on that later. So we do have a lot of stone bricks that's gonna help us do some building stuff. I feel like, I feel like we could get one more done. I feel like we could get one more boss done. Cause at this point, why the hell not? Like we only have one uh, from the lower levels and then the rest are from the newer levels. So we might as well get to it. There's nothing to it, but to do it. So, uh, oh, I can't jump there. <laughs> I can't just, I can't just jump down anywhere I like. Ah, oh, goddamn. But yeah, we have three bosses that are from the past, so we might as well finish said three, three bosses. I don't know if, uh, if there's any others, because all the rest look familiar to me. Those three just don't look familiar at all, so I feel like that's probably probably the ones. <laughs> I don't know if they've improved the look of this, but it does look slightly nicer with the details. Although V-Rising has always looked nice, in my opinion. I've always liked the look of it. It looks clean, crisp, and detailed. Where are we going? Oh, so he's over this side? I'm going, I guess. It is interesting that everything is like linked up together now. The Cursed Forest is now linked over here. Is the Cursed Forest? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're always linked like that too. But um, yeah, the Cursed Forest is and linked to there, which is linked to the Hollow Mountains. Which I guess Hollow Mountains makes sense, being that's covered in snow. <laughs> It'd be weird if it was like the desert area. I still hope that they bring some sort of like desert zone is like 90 to 100 that would be actually kind of cool like egyptians and stuff like that um I, I don't know if it makes sense but it would be cool and it'd be very hard to get around that area you'd have to like an umbrella is the first thing you get like parasol to withstand the, the sun that would actually be a nice little touch especially because it's just such a it is such a hassle over time you're just like really i still have to worry about that 
Oh, jeez. What's happening? Oh! Uh, that's him, by the way. That is that is him. Oofed. Ow. Where's that Nightfall's Edge? Wait, my own guys are hitting me. What the hell? No! Okay, she's getting annoying. You could attack him, you know. I'm actually taking damage from this. It's crazy. Oh, throw a sword. Oh, that is so cool. And the end is near for you, sir. Damn, that's kind of cool that that I know it's it kind of makes it easier to kill him, but like Oh shut up you, but it's kind of cool It's kind of cool that you could just like attack him like that with his own sword Ah, that was kind of cute. It's, I'm gonna keep saying it. It's kind of cool. cool Oh, he burst into fire. Well <laughs> Well, if the shoe fits Hi, oi, uh, oi I will eat you. You know what? I'm gonna eat him. You did this to yourself. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. You are the tastiest beast. Goodbye. Stygian shards. But yeah, as I said, I really like that. I really like the sword, you know, dragging along and summoning creatures just like I do. That was so shady. And then yeah, he he he. he you uh, pick up his defeat his sword, pick it up, throw it at him, and you can pretty much nail him. You could do unspeakable things to him if you were not safe, if you're not careful. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna find a safe place to uh, to finish this because, like, honestly, I'm I'm impressed with how uh, streamlined a lot of the old stuff is. How they've tried to do their best to make it so that uh, inventory sorting, all that's a lot more simple. Um, the bot finding the bosses is uh, pretty much the same. Abilities are pretty much the same. Fi choosing your abilities a lot easier. Um, the V blood maps is pretty much the same, although it has changed since like the original. The original was like you had to actually go to a table and look them up, which I kind of liked. That I kind of liked the having a separate like table to go look them up and get together in a group. But in all honesty, I've enjoyed it, and uh, we still got a few more uh, episodes to go to finish off the entirety of this because uh, obviously we finished a lot of it already um, before the full game came out but we've got all the dracula stuff to do so i'm excited i'm excited got a fisherman dead we've got a general dead and we've got a someone who betrayed everyone so yeah well and also this area isn't affected by the sun it seems like yeah <laughs> it does not seem to be affected by the sun which is very nice look i'm standing in the sun it's great. I'm not dying. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> but until next time, guys. Well, 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 guys. We have come to the end of the episode. That's right. We've come to the end of the episode. There was so much changed. I did not realize it would be that much changed. Now I feel bad. I feel bad that I haven't gone back. Um, I'm going to be playing it in my own time, but I played a little bit of the older bosses before recording this, and I only like two or three, and Gorswine the Ravenger's ability was a lot less difficult. I'm just like, you made it easier. What happened? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being part of your friendly Never Noob community as we play through The Rising. And we're vampires. It was fun. We were vampires. I actually enjoyed being a vampire. I really think this is a great game. They've improved it so much. It added just a lot more. I liked it before. I love it now. So all I want to say is don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti because it's all very appreciated and it really does make me smile. And go buy the game today if you want to check it out for yourself. I mean, I bought it all the way back in the day, but uh, it's, it's still available. I mean, it just came out. <laughs> anyway, guys, see you next time. Bye.